Hey everybody, it's Taylor, your host, of, and this is Indie Dreams, a show for up and coming artists and entrepreneurs. And today I have two special guests. I have actress Trina Trotter. Yeah, what's up, guys? <laughs> and, uh, and Stephanie. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. Because <laughs> <laughs> she don't want to be called Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> Jazz. Jazz. How you doing today, Jazz? I'm good. And yourself? Okay. So how how you guys day going? How was your, your travel here? Cool. It was, you know, coming from Jersey City, it was hectic because of that, you know, accident on one and nine and stuff like that. Oh the fire. yeah, it was okay. a huge accident. I heard it was like people were in traffic for two hours. Yes. Not me. Not you. No, I didn't have to go to Jersey City <laughs> today. <laughs> so where you coming from? I am coming from. Uh, you know, I don't need any stalkers since everybody <laughs> want me, you know what I'm saying? So, I can't tell you where I'm coming from, but I live in Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, no mm-hmm. traffic. <laughs> Must be nice. So, Trina, oh, yeah. I see in a lot of your videos and now, too, um, I like your style. I like your, your um, Thank you. fashion. What is your secret? Um, I just do what I want to do. Like, first of all, I don't even care what people say think you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i just do what i want to do say whatever i want to say you know free spirited i noticed yeah, that in a lot much. of your videos you're very sweet free spirited you do what you want to do i do whatever i'll hit jazz up because you know she's in a lot of videos and i hit her up yeah. like jazz mm-hmm. i just got some good ass idea and she's like okay yeah, she's, <laughs> she's ready right? yeah <laughs> you and your son i see you and your son yeah we do things too um he's like he's my twin mm-hmm. he watches everything i do and he's just He's a good kid. Like, yeah. I mean, he's a bad boy, but he's a good kid when it comes to helping me out in videos and stuff like that. Cool, cool. Yeah. So you guys ready to go into the topics? Yes. Sure, let's go. Absolutely. All right. So women are doing a lot of things this week. And um, we want to start off with, with Cardi B is walking into the, the BET Awards as the most nominated act. In addition to Nipsey Hussle, which was not, he was nominated for Best Male Hip Hop Artist. As well as Cardi B, who was who won Best Female, well, actually not won yet, but was nominated for Best Female Act, uh, Best Female Hip Hop Artist. So she was nominated for Video of the Year for Money, P- Money, and then Please Me, Best Female Hip Hop Artist, Viewers Choice Award, and Album of the Year for Invasion of Privacy. So yeah. yeah, you know, like shout out to Cardi. She really doing her she's thing. She's working. Right? Yeah. I, she's working. She deserves she's it. Working on mm-hmm. but, uh, <laughs> she's a, she deserves it. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And the the turning point about that is is last year in the BET Awards, she was also best female hip hop artist, right? Okay. But last year she really didn't have that much. She didn't have that much competition. Remember, like last mm-hmm. year was no, She didn't have any run runner right. ups. She okay, did. but w- yeah. what about Nikki? Though? It was her and Nikki going, you know, head to head. They were the main two comparisons main last two. year. But at that time, where, what was Nikki doing at that time? She, she was building she was her rant. brand to me. <laughs> she like, was ranting. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, just building her brand. She wasn't so focused in the music. I felt like mm-hmm. she didn't really put as much effort into her music last year last year right you know it was, was more of her, she was on her radio show endeavors mm-hmm. that she was focused on right and it kind of showed in her you know because when album. when when cardi dropped her album i remember when nikki came out with those two singles she had uh what was it it was chi- um Ch- chung lee she came out yeah, with yeah it was chung lee and, and it was another one yeah, back to back. I don't remember the name, mm-hmm. but yeah. Either, but I, I like Bed with Ariana Grande, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my song. And now this year, Cardi B has a couple of people. She has a couple of she has a couple of women that she's up against, and um, is Nicki Minaj, Remy now, and Megan The Stallion, who yes. just dropped the album. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, women are doing big things. So she dropped her album. And then uh, Cash Doll. Right. Yeah. Uh, Cash yes, Doll. That's my girl. That's your girl? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, I haven't heard too much from her. No. No. I mean, I like, like Icy. Icy. Right. <laughs> and yeah. then Lizzo. Have you heard of I don't I've know. I've heard that. a. I've only seen like a clip of her. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my goodness, who is this? I like her flow. Mm-hmm. I like her performance. 
So I don't know much about her, but I was just, you know, I've just recently started hearing some things about her. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, women are really doing it up this year. Yeah. You know? Like, mm-hmm. all of them, big up to all of them. they all working hard. They yes. all deserve whatever nominations, awards, whatever they win. Mm-hmm. You know? A big dose of girl power here. Mm-hmm. And um, Lizzo, one thing that I noticed, I actually looked at her, her, um, web, her website, Twitter, and her Instagram account yesterday. And I saw that she she was uh, featured on Essence magazine. Right. So she was there. And um, what I like about her is she's just so socially conscious. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like she talks about how her, her music empowers women. She talks about, you know, she's a little, she's kind of full figured a little bit. Yes, I am too. Exactly. So, and that was one of the first things yeah, that caught my eye. It caught I'm your like, eye, right? Yeah, she, you know, all that melanin, mm-hmm. chocolate. And Go she's girl. Like, <laughs> oh, like, so it. we're not in mm-hmm. no more skinny girls. <laughs> Y'all just been powering the big people like, yeah, girl, she been <laughs> like, no, I'm still trying to lose weight, so. <laughs> <laughs> but she, um, so she did, she talks about the weight and she talks about body positivity and she talks about empowering women and stuff like that. So yeah, shout out to L- Lizzo. Shout yeah. out to Lizzo. Yeah. I'm still getting my ass done. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. My album was pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I so. agree. <laughs> Is there anybody any other women you saw out there that really? I like Melly. Um, I, Melly, right? Yeah. Oh my. I love her. Yes. When I first heard her first <laughs> song, "Walk in the Club." Yeah. Like, that, the was flow. Like, her flow. Yeah. I was like, that's. We could be best friends. I like your style. <gasps> so who am I? She's so down. <laughs> How you gonna have you another best, best friend? Number one. Oh, okay. okay yeah. Oh, so y'all yeah, best friends like, then? Best friends? Whatever best you want to call it. We like, you know, <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what, what, what you call it? Freaking frag? Yeah, <laughs> that's who we are. Be with some butt head. <laughs> y'all can have a, your best friend in the area because my best friend actually moves to North Carolina. Aww. She, yeah, so... <laughs> You that mostly sucks. cry. Yeah. No crying in here. Yeah, uh-uh. Look, that's your excuse to go take a vacation. Exactly. You know, get away from But let me tell you, when I go on vacation, I stay with her, though, we argue all the time. For we real? argue like cats and dogs, <laughs> but we love each other from afar. That's how it be. Mm-hmm. That's not really how it be. Yeah. That's that love. Time right out, there. though. I just laughed so hard, my pants busted open. <laughs> 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 Did you see that? Like, yeah. I have to just go like this. <laughs> I hope that uh, was a show. Whatever. <laughs> look, I wonder if I see my look, new panties. Girls always want, look, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. If they want to see more than that after your first comment. After your oh, first comment. The, oh, that rap. Because I could flow. But anyways. <laughs> so, move, moving on. Uh, Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams <laughs> is back in, in the headlines. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, Wendy. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to Wendy. <laughs> yes. And um, Hello Beautiful reported that um, she was with Black China last night. Mm-hmm. She was hanging out. She was out and about and everything. And she actually was on the show this morning talking about... she. she it kind of brought me to tears. Cause she was on in her video and she was kind of shedding a tear a little bit. She was, uh, you know, crying. And she was talking about how her son was happy to see her finally happy. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, I, I'm really yeah. happy she got on her... She's wow. getting it back, right? Yeah. right? It's going to take time, but... Mm-hmm. She's going out and she's gonna she's gonna get it. Get there. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure she's coming to the realization of how unhappy she actually really was. Mm-hmm. You know, now in her newfound divorce and the freedom and it's like you, you she hasn't been out there. Mm-hmm. So now you know, I'm pretty sure Black China is gonna get her feet wet. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> but how long has she been married? Like how long has she been locked down? Because <laughs> years Ooh, since she first she, she started her and um, Kevin Hunter they were together since she. Started the radio, yes. and she hired him. Right, right? that's how he started that's out. That's how he started yep. out. <laughs> hey, Charlemagne. <laughs> <He's so laughs> <funny. Look. laughs> oh, so she about to be a thought thought. They got history, but you know how that is. <laughs> you know, you've been with the same person for so long, and then it's scary. What you yeah. trying to say? You can't be in a relationship there. for years. Oh no, I'm not saying that at all. Oh. I'm just saying oh. when hers ended badly, I can't. you know. So it's like <laughs> trying to make something work for so long, and then you know, for it not to work publicly, right. you know, that's a lot. So you don't put your business out there. Like you gotta have a secret. But come on, true. But you do you believe <laughs> now like, as like an actress, Oprah though, as an actress, <laughs> uh-huh. you, have a, you know, when you get. Do you feel as though when you get married, are you going to announce it? Are you going to talk about that on Instagram? What I look like? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. 
whoever is waiting for me, I'm going to announce you. So, my, well, are you single? Uh-huh. Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, see, I got a lot of people, though. But if they find out, I ain't going to have nobody. So stop. <laughs> don't, don't say that. But, so last we heard about Wendy, she filed for divorce. Mm-hmm. And um, after her husband fathered a baby with a mistress. So that was the last I heard about the situation. She filed for divorce. And then um, since then, it seemed like she was glowing, you know? And she yeah. she was in rehab for substance abuse. Right. What do you think it's about? It's like she, uh, it took her a moment to like, you know, I guess come to terms with the reality of the situation because mm-hmm. it's been going going for a long time and she you know put it to the side like mm, well as long as there's no baby right i'm fine with it you do know what, what i do i feel mm-hmm. like once it got public and then people got in her head and it was like oh you're stupid they probably were saying that and she started thinking about it maybe and was mm-hmm. like you know what and you i need to leave this I, yeah because i feel like her relationship was so private Mm-hmm. And then it finally got out there, right. and I feel like everybody was just hitting her up and was like, "Wendy, come on!" Right? I, you know, yeah, it was. It, it seemed like things were hitting her back to back to back to back, and I, and right. and people. Honestly, I kind of felt bad for her because did you see that meme about her, Wendy Williams? And they're like, "Well, Wendy said, could we keep the situation private?" And yeah, then I did. and they were like, "Well, like, how you doing?" Nobody else well, private. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> We're putting everybody else's business out there for years. So here's a dose of medicine. But that's her medicine. job. That's her job. That's her job. Yeah. She gets paid to do that. So right. she does. True, that, yeah. And that, that was one of the, the points that I wanted to make too. As a journalist, that's your job, right? Mm-hmm. You're supposed to get some dirt on me and tell people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it wouldn't be dirt though. <laughs> it would be like I, I'll just tell you. <laughs> no dirt on me, people. I tell my business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she does. She does. And also with um, so with that relationship, you know, I feel like it, it progressed. And now, like, I also I saw her too. Her new show now. She I think she has a new a new guy now. Oh wow, she moved fast. Mm-hmm. He must have right. been there. He must have been there. He was the friend, you know, like yeah. <laughs> he, he was just calling to He was just waiting. You know how some women have friends mm-hmm. that they call that they call when they run out of gas. Oh, he didn't do this again. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Could have been one of those. So I'm happy that she finally got everything together. Yeah, me too. So with the um, did you guys hear about the uh, Kim Kardashian? Yeah. No, what's she done? She got plastic Being surgery. <laughs> so with Kim Kardashian now, Kim Kardashian, she her fourth baby now. Oh yeah, Psalms. 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 Mm-hmm. What number are we gonna get on? Get on like Psalms? What? One eighteen, the longest. Psalms one eighteen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> did we? Did you put the um? It's, yeah, the photo there. there. Oh yeah. <laughs> what photo you got? We had a photo of the picture. She actually put the, she put the picture on Twitter oh, okay. and Instagram, and she um, when she put it up, she said, "With the arrival of the fourth child, she said we are blessed beyond measure." And Psalm West sounds like she said she talked about how blessed the family is. Her and hmm. you know, same surrogate, so the surrogate, same one, but you know, a different one. It's a, oh, different, it's a different child. One? Mm-hmm. Okay. Psalm West. So. No, I'm saying a different surrogate mother. Yeah, she's she's oh, she's. Wow. she hopes so. The pres- if, if it's the same surrogate, she just don't. That's what I'm kids. asking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I'm available. <laughs> Good. How much that check is? I'm available. <laughs> what and all, do, what do y'all think about the name? Um, maybe it's, I feel like because you know Kanye with the church. Thing he's that so he's extra. Been doing. Maybe that's how they came about with the name. Also, with feeling blessed, mm-hmm. you know, it's I don't know how celebrities come up with the names for their baby. They're all unique and interesting. Mm-hmm. But all of know. the names are interesting. She yeah. has North Saint Chicago. Song. Right. It's just like um how I would like to know why. Like from their mouths. Like why did you pick these names? Like what's the meaning behind it My to you guys? But mm-hmm. a song is like a you know? hymn or a song. Right. It's mm-hmm. like a, a, ch- a chapter in the Bible or something, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but no, yeah, but I'm like they use it as songs and stuff. So maybe because he's an artist and stuff. 
Yeah, true. I, mean, I feel like it's that Sunday service vibe. Right. Mm-hmm. Me too. And I think Kanye's mother was very spiritual too, right? Yeah. Well, you guys are getting too deep in this. That's not why they named that kid that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all being serious. He just, they just was like, what you think? Psalm. I don't know. He probably read the Bible and he was like, Psalm. they ain't think about it. I guess that's how we got north. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> My next kid name is Toe. And y'all yeah. can't say nothing. Look, how you going to spell it? I'm going to spell it different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toe. Toe. Yeah. Do you have well, any children? Am I having children? Do you oh, have any? Oh, yeah. I do have children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have a daughter. Four sons. Four sons. Mm-hmm. Would you consider ever doing a surrogate? Me? <laughs> no, I, I have. No, let God. me I'll be honest. I have when I was like maybe in my twenties. I was like, I'll do that, you know, for somebody, you know, depending on how much they paying. I'm like, I'll eat healthy and everything like that. I'll do it because I did feel bad for women who cannot conceive on their own, mm-hmm. you know. So to be able to do that for somebody is like so it's sweet. a really big deal. Right. It is. I don't feel the same now, of course. You know, Darn it. Like why you wait till I was like, about to ask you to have one for mm-hmm. me? I'm, it's not coming <laughs> out of me. <laughs> no man, no ham, no turkey, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not this, not this stage of my life. No, I don't mm-hmm. want to be bothered with that. Yeah, I feel like I don't think I would ever do pretty much surrogate. You know what I mean? Because I mm-hmm. want to attach me with my child, so I don't know. Right, that's so a lot. Like, and it's a fourth, you know, to, like let go. To what be kind of make her want to have a fourth child and then not natural is just you know. I mean, I don't hold it. I don't put it against yeah. anybody because Gabrielle Union had her surrogate too, mm-hmm. and kosher baby kosher is the cutest thing. Right. I mean, not is. kosher. Um, not, what's her name? I know you're talking kosher. Not kosher. Um, That's Cardi B. They name it because kosher. Oh, no. culture. I thought right. you said kosher. <laughs> not, but <laughs> culture is bad too. That would have catch. That's yeah. still bad. Culture. Gabrielle yes. Yeah. Yeah. Kiva. Yeah, Kiva. Kiva. Baby, baby Kiva. Kiva. So, yeah. okay, She's cute. cute. Yeah, that's cute. She looks just like a father. She mm-hmm. does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like he like. grew up. Why you say that? Because they got, she got the face. Like, he ain't do none of the work. (laughs) But yeah. Well, none of them did. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So moving forward, recently in the news, they were talking a lot about more states are considering bills that would take, that would make virtually all abortions illegal at six weeks or less. Alabama, Georgia, Ohio, Missouri, and Louisiana. So... Rihanna actually she was upset about that and Rihanna went on social media and she ranted about about the situation and she said um on there she was kind of like going off venting and ranting venting and ranting you saw it yeah I seen it I did I agree with what she said it's like come on how you deciding what's right for women Mm -hmm. you know like how dare you say all of you you know have to comply with this law. It's taking us backwards instead of moving forward as a culture. You know? mm-hmm. True. What she said here, what she wrote on Twitter, she said, outrage over the news only grew when it was revealed that all 25 who voted in favor of the bill in the Republican-controlled Senate were white, were white men. And I'm not prejudiced. That's so mm-hmm. I'm not prejudiced at all. Like, I have nothing against that, but it's, you know, it is what it is. Rihanna was one of the, the many... To, to voice their opinion on the on the matter. Taken to social media, she posted a picture of the men alongside the caption. Take a look. These are the idiots making decisions for women in America. Governor K. I. V. Shame on you. Now that's a that's deep. You know it what is. I mean? That's some deep Right. And I feel like, you know That's risky on her part. It's risky. You know, and that's why, you know what, I was kinda I was kinda scared to talk to, to voice my opinion about the situation. Cause it's like talking about something deep like that, like as far as mm-hmm. You know, what do you think? I think um, we need to put better people in the house to vote for these things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I think, not older people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. True. That's really what it is. It's like older people who stuck mm-hmm. in their old ways. You how know, it puts to be how right, it used to be, right, like, right, as far right. as with biblical, right? Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, growing up in the church, I feel like me, I was. My grandmother, she was a preacher. She, right. you know, passed away. Rest yeah, my, peace my grandmother. Too. Right. And I feel like biblically, you know, abortions, they frown upon it. But mm-hmm. then I also feel like we have freedom of choice. 
Right. You know what I mean? Which was like, you know, according to the Bible and Christianity, mm-hmm. that's what we was all put here put for. Put here for, for free right. will to choose. Are we going to, you know, serve what God or do what we want to do mm-hmm. initially? You know. But what about but what about the two sidedness of it? Because what mm-hmm. about the New York laws? They think it's basically okay to have a baby almost and kill it. Right. Like so, I'm like I think. It Wait, what do you, what do you mean? Like you can go almost up to like Full a 38 term. week term. Oh, I didn't know that. And oh, then wow. you say, oh, I don't want to kill it. Right. Okay. So I'm like I think it gotta be like a um. I want to say a statue of limitation. Like, that's probably, that's the wrong phrase, period. Well, like well right. it is one, what they, now they have like a heartbeat law. Like they say, mm-hmm. well, if the baby is old enough to, you hear the heartbeat, they say right. you can't, you can't kill it. But so that's yeah. every, but can't you hear the heartbeat? In the beginning. Years? Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that's yeah. how you know you're pregnant. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. That's true. So it's almost like, <laughs> right. it's like no you ain't way. killing it. They're no saying if the, if, the, if the child is over the, over, um, older than six weeks, then you can't pretty much and to me I, and then one of the myths that I kind of like feel is women know that they are pregnant in a month mm-hmm. so they're saying that oh that's the reason why because women should already know that they're pregnant but how many of us you know knew we were pregnant in a month <laughs> I knew because I was on Some top of- and I was like I, I'm just saying that's how I knew I was like up and went up there I felt it and I'm, I knew I was pregnant <laughs> no for real I knew it <laughs> Ladies, you gotta get your uh, game <laughs> right <laughs> so you can know when it goes up there. <laughs> yeah, it was hot. It was like. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll stop. Go ahead. Let's be more serious again. Go ahead. I'm oh, well, I'm you a comedian? No. <laughs> so that's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be serious. Yeah. You don't gotta be serious. This is what I mean. Yeah. I know I didn't know. I was, you know, you. So most of us were trying uh-huh. to figure out at that point. Right. We can't figure out, you know. Right. And then. Also, another myth is people wouldn't get abortions if they were more responsible. That's what the Senate argues. Hmm. And yeah. like, How I'm like, what a man? Yeah, wasn't he the irresponsible one who did not use a condom and right. let the genes go? Exactly. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think he needs to shut up. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And it's also women saying that if you're gonna make a law saying we have to keep a baby, y'all need to hold these men responsible for putting these babies in us too. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna yes. hold us to something. Woo! That's true. Yeah. It takes two Woo! people. Right. Woo! Pretty much. Yeah. They. How come and the men are not? They don't hold the men accountable. How come the men don't, don't got birth control? <laughs> they, I, they do. <laughs> have condoms don't count. I'm sorry. You can't mm-hmm. tell me they break. They bust. They ain't yeah. as reliable. Like we got True. pills, they work ninety percent of the time. Mm-hmm. Therefore, the pills count like more than a condom. Mm-hmm. And now they expect us to be on the pill, on mm-hmm. the condom, but and you know what? B afterwards. Not to tell all my business, but I don't <laughs> but take tell your business. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't take anything because you know it mess our body up. Mm-hmm. So who's making these pills? Men, right? right. Yeah, you don't know what you're taking. Control. I take nothing. There's oh, too many chemicals, too nothing. many side effects. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. I, I do not nothing. agree with this. I'm so natural. It's with just everything. like just don't do it. Just don't. You know, you don't want to get pregnant. Make them pull out or something. Or she said, pull out. Get <laughs> <laughs> you get pregnant from pre Look, <laughs> look it's rare, but you know, it happens. They, that's mm-hmm. what they talk about. Pretty much, so did social media. They, that all I hear about is jokes about. I'm not, you know, they don't, yeah. they don't talk about the it's seriousness crazy. of the situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. But honestly, just to end that with a fact, one in four women get abortions by 45 and most identify with religion. So that means mm-hmm. to tell you, that's a large amount of women who should have the right to do, you know, I don't want to, they, they want to do with their bodies. And I feel like, I feel as though that's pro-choice. everybody's, like if you make a decision you have to accept and deal with the consequences of that decision, you know, mm-hmm. because it affects you, you know. Mm-hmm. Not It's not nobody else's right to say, oh, you can't do this, and you have to do X, Y, and Z, because it's just not fair. Mm-hmm. But wait, you know? ladies, don't even worry it's about fair. it. Just like they sell drugs on the street, there's going to be abortion. Little side hustle. It's going to be hustle. the back, you know, yeah, on the, the street. basement abortion. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm like going to do it. That's going to be my new know, shop. That's true that you said that. You know it's why? True. <laughs> because in a lot of those states, between six states, it was only one abortion clinic. And oh, and right. right. They started, a lot one. of the abortion clinics started going out of service. Oh, wow. They, they stopped doing, they stopped, and I'm kind of like wondering, like, how far are they going to go with this? 
Because yeah. a lot of mm-hmm. them closed down. Yeah. And it was like women had to travel all over the place. They had to travel far. They had to stay in different states with no money. And it's a financial issue too for them. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. But um, we're about to take a break. All right? So. You did not give me a song. Oh, so you need a song? I'm creating my Wix site. You think you already have? We're back. Hey, everybody. We're back. We're back, hey. To the interview part. So we want to get to know Trina Trotta, actress, and she, you know. I tell jokes. She tells jokes. I also DJ. She DJ. Yeah, she DJs. I do everything. As well. I forgot to add that in the beginning. It's cool. She DJs. It's cool. I do DJ. That's So we're going to look at her first video. And this video was hilarious. So check it out, guys. Mommy, work, 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 work. Uh, what the hell? We just got home here. Work, mommy. Work, Don't look. Be strong, Trina. Be strong. Work, Don't look. Oh. Baby, body looking like a ranger. I bet you ride so good. Yeah. Oh, let me bang it. Oh, let me bang it out. Oh, let me bang it. Oh, let me bang it out. I bet you ride so good. I don't 
heart. <laughs> <laughs> I do my own editing too. Like, when I do the video, can I hear this? What do you do? To copy this to you. Not So Trina, <laughs> that was hilarious. I love the end part too. Oh. What made you think of that? Just me thinking of just something stupid. I don't know. I don't. Mm -hmm. I really just be thinking. I'll, I'll hit her up. Like, hey, we gotta mm -hmm. find a guy. <laughs> I got a good idea. We gotta find a guy. It just brought to mind. Uh, what me to mind? Where you know, some women, some they want to test. They want to figure out. You know, they buy curious sometimes. They want to know what that's about, and then they like, I can't do this. I can't do it. Does that have anything to do with it? No, I was just just <laughs> off the top. It was just that's something that I just thought about. Yeah. No, I was I wasn't um, making fun of the curious people or mm -hmm. or even the LGBTQFG. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. No, I know what you mean. You know, it's a lot yeah, of letters. Yeah, a lot of respect, but sometimes yeah. <laughs> I almost had it. Mm -hmm. They keep adding new letters, right? So, <laughs> yeah. what would you get out of the video? Um, she was crying because I left that ass. <laughs> 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 to me, it was really like a. It boiled down to body odor and mm -hmm. that's vaginal what you got. health <laughs> because that's why you left me. Because your booty was like, stinking. Oh my god! Yeah. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you switch to the other side. You right. know, mm -hmm. so it's like take care of yourself. Yeah, you take care of yourself. So that's probably yeah. more that's so. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you interpret different things from the video. Uh -huh. <laughs> your style of humor though is different. Like it, you, mm -hmm. it makes you think. Okay, that's cool. I like it. And you know, it takes me a long time to um, come up with videos. That's why I don't post like every day because mm -hmm. I want like an almost perfect video up there. Right. So, so you're a perfectionist when it comes to it. Yeah, that might be a bad thing because you know people want to see you post all the time, mm -hmm. and I just don't want to post just anything. I know Cody Michelle talks about that a lot too about posting and stuff like that on Instagram. Shout out to Cody. Cody Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, shout out to Twisted Sister Comedy Studio. I'm the DJ for that show. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Yeah. Congrats <laughs> for that. Thank you. All right. And I also noticed, too, in your videos, you work a lot with your son. He's the cutest. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Thank so, you. She, you have another video for that one, too, the one that you did. And I thought this was really funny, too. Okay. Video with you and your son. And how did that? Uh, we were in the Bronx with uh, Jay Messiah. Shout out to him. He's from Juicy. The web series. Mm -hmm. um, I heard. I, I heard of that. Yeah, I met him out there in um, the Bronx, and we just came up with that concept. That concept. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. he, to me, he reminds me of uh, Fat Boy SSE. So that's mm -hmm. his son in the video too. Oh, that's my his son, son is to the left, and his son to the right. Check out the video, y'all. Listen, guys, when we get destroyed, I don't ask for nothing. Okay? You hear me? Okay. You hear me? Oh my God, that's Fat Boy SSE. Listen, guys, he gives kids money. Go over there and get mommy some money, okay? Because I need my nails done, okay? Go, 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 go. Undos out here, man. What's up, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, y'all can get some money, man. Yo, fat boy, let the kids stay in school. Yo, what's up? Oh, what's up? Oh, is that fat boy? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, 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 Yo, why y'all laughing? Y'all think that's funny? Oh, That, was that one was so funny because you know how fat boy really be like showing love. Giving out money to uh, the kids. Yeah. Like, yeah. So have them have them the kids rob when that was too funny. Right. <laughs> so having a son, how do you um you balance your career and your your motherhood, you know? Um, it's I would say it's it's not too bad. I have sisters, my mom. I got a lot of help. So it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a lot of <laughs> I have a lot of help. Yeah, like if I have to do something, a show or something, my mom will watch her. Oh, your mom. Sister. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a lot of help. Yeah. Yeah. And then how, how did you get your son to, how you, he's an act, actor too? Or? He watches me. Oh, he he's watches not, you. Yeah. I mean, I call him my little actor. Mm -hmm. Eventually he will, but mommy got to do, mommy trying to make a, Door, like open the door for him. You open know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. trying to open the door for him. Starting him off so early. So once I figure out and get myself, you know, mm -hmm. he's coming in. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the newest one you had with your son. The, the Uber? Uber video? Oh, 
That is the funniest. Do you have that one? I actually don't have that one. That's the funniest that video yeah, to me, funny. I swear. <laughs> he just, he did, like, I do Uber skits. And he watches them. And he does, he did the same thing. I put a, threw a wig on him. Yeah, guys, it was. <laughs> and he just was being me. Wait, mm-hmm. explain so funny. these Uber skits. The Uber skits. She does the Uber skits. <laughs> right. so, like, you, so, you yeah. call an Uber and you be playing them out? No, no, no. <laughs> I have uh, uh, my second car. I'm not trying to say I'm rich, but, you know, my other car. <laughs> um, I drive it. I do Uber skits in it. Like, it's my little hoopty or whatever. I get people that I know, and I be like, yo, do this Uber skit with me. I pick them up, and you just do stuff. But at the end of the video, we crash. They crash. Every, every video. Every video, they crash. Yeah. So, so is it hot? You got to yeah. see it. No, it. You tell them that, that you're going to crash? I tell them to brace themselves. We're yeah. going to crash. Yeah. <laughs> you crashing in, too. <laughs> you got to see the video. <laughs> Listen, follow me. Underscore Trina Trotter. <laughs> follow me. You can see my Uber It's skin, the craziest y'all. thing. Because I wasn't even expecting to crash. They were just talking and just like, hey. <laughs> 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 no. And if somebody, like, yeah. say something crazy or show they butt. You, mm-hmm. Did you see the one with the guy was like, he bent over. He dropped something in the car. He stood up. His butt was hanging out. And I was looking at his butt and I crashed. Did you oh, see I that, one? that one? Oh, but I did Yeah. <laughs> and the funny one to me that I saw with you was um the guy who you were flirting with. He was flirting back with you. Mm-hmm. And then he was just like making faces. And then he pushed you out the way and grabbed the man's, the woman's ice cream behind you. That, that was, was funny. Was that was Jay Messiah. Yeah. yeah. That was in the Bronx. That yeah. was funny. That yeah, was so. <laughs> And the one you were in. Yeah. Talk about the, I was the collaboration you guys had with the videos. Um, I'm basically, you know, ride or die. It's also so natural. It's so natural. Yeah. I like to have Just a like good you know, time. And, and it's always hmm? fun. You know, because I feel like the world needs a little bit more laughter. You know, it's <laughs> mm-hmm. too much negative stuff going on. Too much so negative let's do things. some fun stuff and then also, you know, make fun of current things you know what's going on Current like the events. fat boy and yeah. uber all the crazy like stories we hear so mm-hmm. it's like you know i was did in you, one of those two. <laughs> <laughs> did you like the one where um she wanted she was about to get beat up and i was supposed to help her fight did you see that one? Oh yeah i she saw that one yeah i like that one yeah she i ain't fighting nobody out. well i was I so what happened when that video she was on she was on the treadmill and that then you, you were, so you were faking like you were gonna go, but you really weren't gonna Hell go. Hell no, I ain't fighting <laughs> nobody. Can you fight? Hell no, I ain't fighting. <laughs> no, I make phone calls. She make phone calls. <laughs> look, I don't fight. I don't gotta either. fight. You see her right there. <laughs> Jazz, put your like. Put your, I'm re- look. I'm really Jazz, excited. Jazz, you know, you know, Sam, Jazz, 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 go put some more clothes out. on. <laughs> I got a son, you know, so. Fighting again, right? Yeah. Imagine me, thirty-six year old, fighting anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> shoot, it that's happens. Just, that's just the last resort. Yeah, like you gotta yourself. talk it out. I mean, I'm gonna defend myself. Yeah, but, but I'm not gonna, gonna get beat up either. You know what I'm saying? Can't yeah. let, can't let my son. I was talking about shit. See me get beat up, but then that <laughs> look, then they're gonna be punking you around the house. Yeah, you know, like. <laughs> Like, Ma, you wasn't saying that the other day when I saw her, you know, she dragged you up the street. No, mm-hmm. we can't have that. <laughs> so, what was the craziest thing that ever happened to you while you were on stage or acting or performance, stand-up? Oh, I got a, um, I have a story for, uh, oh, stand-up, let's see. <laughs> um, oh, I have a story. When I did um, the State Theater in New Brunswick. So that was the, when I opened up for Michael Blackson. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was doing really well. I did see that you opened so up that, for Michael yeah. Blackson. How uh, was that? That was fun. Yeah. Like, despite whatever happened, I don't care. Like, my spirit still be up. But listen, listen up. <laughs> I came out, I had like good four jokes. I started talking about my mother. It was like, oh. I was like, oh, shut. What? <laughs> I was like, oh. What like, is that? That's a boo. But I said a boo. Yeah, like, oh. I was like, oh. Really? Are you talking about my mama? Oh, good. <laughs> you know, like, the topic just went from I was lit to, like, you know, dick and shit. They like that shit. But when you start talking when about When you say morals, something, yeah, like your mother, son, I was like, oh. Like, I was like, oh, okay, I gotta write more yeah. dick sucking jokes or That's something. True. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I gotta be nasty on stage. That's true. That's what they That's make what up sells. shit. Yeah. Sex sells. 
Yeah. People don't care. That's why when you try to be more, you know, talk about morals and church, people, you they don't care no about none of that. Yeah, bring it that way. None of that. That's why people come in on Instagram and they want to twerk and they want to be naked and yeah, when so thinking that they're going to. Like, so many you movies. Ain't even gotta go to the club. I forgot I gotta need to show my so. ass a little bit, get some more uh views and stuff. You some know. followers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I can't sell my soul, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um I, I do love that also that you, you dance a lot. I'm always shaking my butt. Always. Yeah. Always that's shaking your butt. That's, 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 that's your that's out of nowhere okay. too. It would just be like <laughs> surprise. I'd be like <laughs> no, <laughs> if somebody like counting money, I'm straight shaking my ass for like no reason. I don't care who it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, who's your inspiration in film, or well, who's your inspiration in film and comedy? Oh my god, I want to say nobody. I just watch stuff, and I'm just like, I'm, from day one, like when I was younger, I always wanted to. I was dancing back then. Mm-hmm. I was like a dancer and a rapper. Mm-hmm. So I was dancing and rapping. And as I got older, you know, my mother really called me a stupid ass. Like, I know I said that on stage, but it's the truth. She's like, little stupid ass. So I was like, okay, I'm stupid. Mm-hmm. Let me make something with this stupid. <laughs> like, let me be stupid for real and get paid. Come on. No, so, but no Tiffany Haddish or no. Nah, no, nigga. No. I didn't mean to say that because, no. Stop. Y'all better stop calling me Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> no. I'm <laughs> serious. <laughs> I didn't mean to say the N word, sorry. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, as far as looking like, ju- I mean, looking at her as far as like motivation. No, you know? she don't motivate me. It's not one person that motivates you. No, shout out to Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm like nobody motivates me because I don't. I try not to watch other people. I don't right, want to so get their flow. Your I want to be myself and get my, you know, my own flow. Whatever I say or do, I'm not biting off nobody. I'm just being Trina. That's it. So oh, that's yeah. why I don't true. watch just people's keep your stuff. Own style. Yeah, and yeah, that's even true. with the skits, like I try not to. I do watch people's skits, but I try not to because I have in my head my own little dumb stuff that I come up with. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah. Do you <laughs> write some of the stuff? Or? I throw little ideas. She give, give me, me some an stuff, idea, yeah. and I'm like, you know, well, why don't we do this? You know, add something to it. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. to enhance what she already brought to the table. Right. You know, it's fun. That's dope. So what about your upcoming projects? I know you have Twisted Sister. Twisted Sister comedy show. Um, and where is that? That's in Brooklyn at the Slopes Lounge. Mm-hmm. Um, and I saw a couple of comedians that I know there. I saw Cracks Comedy. Oh, okay. There. okay. Not I know personally, right. but I saw around. Just yeah, in uh, general. Um, I'm doing, a, I am DJing for a fashion show June 9th at 95 South in Brooklyn. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm d- oh, Cravens. Shout out to Cravens. That's the food show that I do. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing Cravens. What's that about? Uh, we go to different restaurants, like not major spots, like little hole in the holes. Mm-hmm. And we taste their food and we let you guys know what's good. If it's good, mm-hmm. that you should go there and try it out. Oh, so they, you, people bring their food there, like something that they're trying to cook or start a recipe. So. No, no, no. We go to restaurants mm-hmm. that people don't really know about oh, to mm-hmm. show them some love. Mm-hmm. And um, we taste their food. And we let you guys know how it is if you should go there. Because, you know, these little yeah. hole in the walls, a lot of people don't know about them. Mm-hmm. So, right. Yeah, so I know that's what like, mm, I ain't going in there. It's about yeah. shout out to Reg Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say what is most, as an artist, what is most important to you? Like what makes you tick? Most important to me, me having fun, you having and, fun, and not making it feel like it's a job. job. Once it feel like it's a job, I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't want to do it no more. Right, that's with that's, anything too. Yeah. You know? Once it feels yeah. like work, you don't want to do it. Yeah. Well, so how do you how do you put that into explaining to people like as far as to stay dedicated to this situation? Because you know when people like if they're in NBA or if they're working or doing something, they always say you know practice makes perfect. Right. When it when you're practicing, how do you make that fun? Like, how do you make it interesting for yourself so you can, you know? It's a mental thing. Mm-hmm. Like, mentally, I go in silly already. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I'm up. I'm up. Oh, I feel right. up, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, I just make whatever situation a good situation. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Like, yeah, I you know can't you do always that. smiling. Yeah. You're always upbeat. Because like, I got these new yeah. teeth, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm lying. They not fake or nothing. Y'all just brushed them real good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and who are some of the people you worked with? But so I know you worked with Michael Blackson and mm-hmm. you worked with um um Cody, Cody, Cody Michelle. Michelle, um Jay the comedian, um woo Reg Hollywood. Oh wait, Reg um, Hollywood. I think I heard of him. You know him. Um, he was, uh, he did a lot of stuff. I can't tell you off hat. Is that like Reggie Cuz or something like that on Instagram? What is it? Like Reggie Cuz or something like no. that. N- no. No. Oh, I'm just shouting out random people. You can shout out <laughs> random <laughs> people. It's we cool. shouted out a bunch of random people. <laughs> through the whole show. I call it kosher and everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jay Messiah, he, from mm-hmm. Juicy, he does a lot. Um, um, Lewis, but he keeps changing his name. Now he's Lewis Sells. I did a sketch of New York. That was fun. That was so much fun. That was uh, a play. And we we did it and um it was an off Broadway play. Oh, that was wow. so fun. Okay. Yeah. Um I can name all of them but I'm not. So you mean so like bro- <laughs> Broadway I movies. love the plays, yeah. Wow. That's like that's serious. Yeah, but it's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. Like you got to go to rehearsals all the time, and I will always take the train, come home mad late, not really seeing my son. So now I kind of mm-hmm. took a break from the uh, plays. Mm-hmm. So did you study act- acting? I did. You did? Yeah. And, okay. <laughs> I went to school. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. What made you decide to go into acting? It's always been my passion. Always been I was, your passion. But it's like as soon as I got time, I'm gonna. Like really go in And I did Like 2004 uh, 15 I went to school And then when I was Done with school um, My teacher had said to me She was like You gotta get into comedy You gotta do stand up Mm -hmm. She said If you could master stand up In New York City You could do anything Right And I did it And we we spoke about that before Because you said You at you, you're like titled a comedian, but you don't like to really go by that. You want to go by right, right. actor, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> actress. Yeah, yeah, and I hear that so much. A lot of people breaking into the industry, they have to start off with comedy. They have to start off with yeah, because they want you to break your fear. Mm-hmm. Comedy breaks your fear. You're on stage with all those people. You know what I mean? That mm-hmm. breaks your fear. Yeah, and I honestly think, like I said, Tiffany Haddish. I think she is funny, but I, I I think that her. I mean, don't quote me, but I looking at her, I think her passion was was in. Actress, yeah. do you? I feel like she wanted to do a little bit of both, both? and bring her comedy to the acting life. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what I get from her. She was just very passionate. Her drive mm-hmm. is what a lot of people saw. Yeah. Are you Are you into the acting too? Or? I am actually. You are. I am. Yeah. I've done like plays and stuff growing up, oh. and I've recently like you know the past last year, the end of last year, I started diving back into it mm-hmm. and doing castings and like I have an upcoming documentary coming out it's about like natural hair journey and stuff like oh, that oh wow so what did, how could they find it um it's not out yet but Tell when it phone. is I will IG. definitely post it on my page mm-hmm. on, on Instagram which is at caramel goddess 23 underscore caramel goddess so underscore 23 you know my name better than me. Yes. Yeah. Caramel. Spelled C A R A M E L underscore G O D D E S S 23. She's twerking on there her, too. Follow her. Actresses. Yeah, you know, I'm doing <laughs> a little bit of acting going on. I always loved acting because it's like, you know, you get to step outside of your mm-hmm. actual life and become a different person. Right. And I felt like I was always good at convincing other people of something even if it wasn't true mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying if you want me to cry right now i'll cry right now you could cry I mean, on cue. i could cry on cue really i could you better not do it huh? you gonna make me cry too <laughs> what the hell are you about to cry for yeah. yo today don't was cry. just don't oh cry. my gosh don't it cry. was so I'm never gonna be forever. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's so cry. hard because y'all, y'all, it's funny. <laughs> and you over there smiling, so you're not making it any easier. Don't cry. But I had this time where I, like, uh, I played in makeup. And I put all these little fake bruises on me, and I went to my mother crying. I was like, Mom, oh you're- my God, look, like, he did, like, my boyfriend beat me up or something. And <gasps> she. Did you do that? I never did it again because she oh. really like she had almost had a heart attack. Like I'm gonna call your father. Da, 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 oh, da. Where he at? <laughs> my I was question. like, Mom, I'm joking, I'm joking. So, my, my my question to you guys. Your Me too. Right. I would have beat her ass just for playing <laughs> with me. See, I didn't get that many whoopings. <laughs> up, so we can, know, tell. We can <laughs> tell. We can <laughs> tell. <laughs> 
<laughs> so my question is that I, I I see people playing like roles where it might like you know with a lot of emotion. Mm-hmm. So how do you come out of that state and then play those type of roles like as far as like crying or passion? You know what I mean? How do you you have to be that person? Like let's practice. <laughs> you. <Yeah! laughs> it's funny. What's yeah. funny? Oh, yeah, you good. <laughs> So you can't laugh at Oh, it? you quit. Okay. Uh, I mean, like, she asking me a question, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's mm-hmm. practice. I, I got you. I'm not good at it. All right. Let's try. 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 let us we starting? Nah. Oh. I don't want to play with her. She smirks too much. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's really what I do when I get out of there. I want to start smirking. Like. <laughs> it's like it's easy and hard at the same time. You just got to really think mm-hmm. about some something painful. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, come on. Try to convince people. Like It's like practicing lying. What's basically. more painful than holding you know, a fart? Without saying lying is good, but who can <laughs> hold the fart? Look, it's I'm hard to the cover fart right that now. you did it. Okay, that's what's hard about a fart. So, what advice but would you give to to uh, up and coming actresses? Here's my advice, guys. Do not give up, no matter what people say. If they boo you, just keep on going. Just don't give up. That's my advice. Yeah, advice. Don't don't ever give up. Got to keep going. All right. So, in conclusion. Thanks for coming, everybody. Trina Trotta. Trina Act- Trotta, hey. Jazz. Jazz. I wasn't yes. going to say Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz, actress. Uh, yes. And thanks to Joy. Thanks for everything. Thanks, Joy. Thank Joy. You. <laughs> she thanks always comes through. Stephanie for having us. Until next week. Every Saturday at 6, p- 6 p.m. All right? Indie Dreams. And you can follow me at SOR <laughs> underscore <laughs> entertainment <laughs> underscore. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. I think you need. To, I think you need to say it seriously. <laughs> I can't. She keep having me dying. I'm fine. All right. All right. <laughs> you guys can follow me at sor underscore entertainment underscore. <laughs>